Grace and mercy and peace belong to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This year, this month, January, you and I have opportunity to begin a new reading series. As a congregational family, we will have opportunity to walk through all of the Psalms in six months. There's something very special about the Psalms. God the Holy Spirit moved the writers of the Psalms to to write down words of God in such a way that no matter what is going on in your life or no matter what you happen to be feeling at any given moment, when you page through the Psalms, you will find a Psalm or you will find a portion of a Psalm or you'll find a specific verse that God will use to hit you directly. It will be exactly what you will need to hear. It will resonate with what you are experiencing at that moment in your life. It's extraordinary that this happens, but we have a, a, a God who is extraordinary in how he keeps his promises. One of the Psalms that we have for this particular week of our reading which you can find through our, our website, and, and you may receive them also by email. One of the psalms that we read is Psalm 8. It's one of the psalms of David. When specifically did, did David write this psalm? We cannot say for sure. When, when we get up to heaven, we can ask David specifically. But I would not be surprised if David wrote this psalm while he was still a shepherd, and he had time to contemplate um, his relationship with his Lord, his promises that God had gave it, given to him, the promise of a coming Savior from sin. And when he considered the heavens and when he considered the extraordinary things that, that our God has created, that all of it points to an awesome God, all of it points to a God whose heart is a heart of love. And clearly in God's letter to you and me, Holy Scripture, he opens his heart to us. And especially as we bask in the Epiphany season, we see once again that God came here in the person of Jesus, not just for a few people, he came for all of us. He came for all of us to wash us clean of our every sin, to blanket us in his holiness, to make us his own. And through faith in Jesus, that's exactly what we are. God's word through David in Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.